Laura and her husband Ben lay back in their bed. It was a night like any other. A long day of work fatigued their bodies. They groaned as the blankets engulfed them. Just as the couple fell into a peaceful slumber, Laura awoke and began to scream. Ben jumped up, trying his best to console Laura. What's wrong, Ben shouted. Laura was shaking, frozen in fear as she pointed towards the door, but there was nothing there. Laura explained that at the doorway, still in her sight, were two spirits. Ben walked over to the door trying to help Laura realize that nothing was there, but for Laura, she was sure they were being visited by the dead. Ben insisted that there was nothing in the room with them, and he went back to sleep. Laura was plagued by the spirits. They yelled and screamed. They jumped around the room, taunting her as she endured a chaotic, sleepless night. In the morning, the couple came to the conclusion that Laura needed to visit the doctor. They were sure it had to be some kind of strange hallucination. After they spent a number of nights in a hotel room, they determined that their house wasn't the issue. The spirits were going wherever Ben and Laura were. She couldn't run. A few sleepless nights turned into weeks of hopelessness. Laura was going mad from her fatigue when one night, the spirits stopped their chance. She clutched the bedsheets as they calmly approached her, stopping just beside the bed. They pointed to a clump of hair on the floor before jumping back and continuing their chaotic frenzy. The spirits chanted, Cheater! Cheater! She looked at the floor, the blonde strands shining in the light from the street lamp just outside. Her blood began to boil. Ben had become so distant lately. Laura was fuming just at the thought. The spirits explained that they're Ben's great-grandparents, both stuck in oblivion, waiting for their chance to be reincarnated. But before they get another run at life, Ben must die. Only a select amount of generations can exist at once. The spirits persuade Laura to kill Ben. Angered and delusional, she quietly gets out of bed, walking downstairs and grabbing the kitchen knife. In a fit of rage, she runs back up to the bedroom, the spirits following along closely. She pulls back the blankets and viciously slashes at Ben's throat. Blood begins to spray out into the room, painting the sheets in a layer of red. The ghosts of his great-grandparents rejoice. They shout and cheer as his body shakes and eventually goes limp. Laura asks the spirits when they'll get their chance to be born again, just hoping to finally be able to rest. The spirits turn to one another and laugh in a sinister and evil tone. They explain that they aren't spirits at all. They're demons. One of them kicks the hair that they'd found on the floor and it slowly disappears. Laura cries frantic and disturbed at what she'd done. Ben never cheated? The demons smile ear to ear and point to the house opposite of theirs. Laura slowly turns, where across the street she can see the neighbor on the phone gazing through the opened window at the bloodbath they just witnessed. The faint blue glow of police lights illuminated the dark streets as Laura gripped the kitchen knife once more, this time turning it on herself.